Hey everybody, it's me, Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, I wanted to show you guys all my finished coloring pages so far in my Joanna Basford coloring books. Um, I've been coloring since a long time ago, periodically like 2015, 2014. And my coloring has changed a lot over the years. It's gotten better. Some of it's gotten worse. Um, it just depends, and you'll see here. And by worse, I mean like my style has changed. And it's just kind of developed a life of its own. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. Um, and the first books that I really started coloring in were Joanna Basford books. Um, yeah, so I think th I have most of the books. I know there's another one coming out and then the calendars I don't have. Um, and I don't have the planners either. So I just have the coloring books. But I have a couple copies of each. But these are my original copies. So these are like the babies of my coloring book collection. And I wanted to share with you guys how far I've come and like where I'm at. How I feel about Joanna Basford now. And her artwork. Um, and why it's kind of so important to me. So if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Samantha. I am a mom and a active coloring book collector and colorist. I have over 400 coloring books that I've collected over the years. And I have my own YouTube and TikTok channel on here. And I hope you guys enjoy the content. It's an art-based channel. So I try to post semi-regularly. Um, I did recently get a job, so it's been a little bit quiet on the channel, but I thank you guys for your patience and um, your understanding with that. Um, such, is, such is life, right? We have changes, we have new things that go on, and this is a changing season for me. So I thought it would be a good time to show kind of an update as to what kind of books I like to color in, where, what my favorite coloring book artists are, what are your favorite coloring book artists. It seems to kind of change every year. And right now I'm currently really loving Such and Such Davis coloring books. I've been coloring in, um, where is that book? Mosaic Landscapes, if I can find it like pretty consistently because I've been stressed out so when I get stressed color by numbers or what I go to so that's this book right here and I haven't really colored very much in it yet but I'll show you kind of what I have done so I've done this page And this is a new page that I've done the last couple days, and I really like it. It shows a little preview of it up here. Um, and then this page is a buddy color that I did with Judith Moye on Instagram. So there's that. And I'm working on this page right now. So it's just taken a long time because they're really small mosaic tiles. They kind of look like diamond paintings. Um, but this is Mosaic Art Landscapes, and it's a great book, so I'd definitely pick it up if you can. It's just all landscape pictures, so. Yeah, there's that one. Anyway, back to what I was saying before. I, I started coloring to help with my anxiety and stress, and it just kind of spiraled from there. So I started coloring because I was having severe panic attacks, and I needed something to help cope with that. I was having chest pains. I was being put on all sorts of anti-anxiety meds that weren't helping or working. And this seemed to be the only thing that really helped. Um, it was a form of meditation for me. And because I was a stay-at-home mom, I didn't have that much money to do other things. And I loved art. So art just kind of fell into my lap. Um, yeah, and that's kind of how I found coloring. 
And then I stumbled upon YouTube and it, the coloring community on YouTube has been so amazing and welcoming over the years. It has changed over the years and it is changing again right now. I feel like it's kind of branching off into diamond painting and coloring and painting and art. And that's great. That means there's more content for you guys to watch. That means there's more creators that we can connect with. My channel has always been fairly small. I'm friends with bigger channels that have 5,000 and more subscribers, and I'm friends with really little channels that only have like 200 subscribers. Subscribers doesn't really matter to me. What matters to me is the connections that I make with you guys, and I've made some great friends. Um, I've made some great lifelong friends over the years um, through coloring. So for that, I am eternally grateful to you guys for watching my videos and watching my channel and enjoying what I do because it's really very simple. I just color. It's nothing fancy. I'm not a educated artist. I just like to color. So, and I like to be calm and I don't like stress. So my channel is based on that. So anyway, the most recent book that I got of Joanna's is Small Victories. And I did this page in Hawaii. This was my first page of this book that I colored in. I did that one. I did that one. So yeah, I hope you guys um, continue to enjoy my videos, continue to bear with me as I figure out a new film schedule. Right now it just kind of depends on when I have time to film, but I will always have a channel. It might not always be active, um, but yeah. So this, um, my son got a hold of my book, this is my Lost Ocean co cover. And I stopped coloring in it for a long time because he got it. And I was going to throw it away, but it really, like, means a lot to me. So I don't want to throw it away. So I'll show you what I've colored in here. My coloring um, tends to be very, be very bright and vibrant. I'm not very good at soft colors. I'm not very good at... Um, pastels but yeah And I just kind of color when I tend to feel like I need to color. So as you can see, I'll have a lot of whips. I'll have a lot of finished pages. It just kind of depends. And sometimes I just want to color one crap or I want to color like one thing. And I'll do that because I don't like to put pressure on myself. I don't feel like as colorists, we should be putting pressure on ourselves. It's just some of my philosophy is on coloring. Oh look, these two are both done. And that's when my coloring started to get a little bit better, I could tell. And I'm showing you guys my very beginnings of coloring because I see a big improvement. I see somebody that wanted to try to learn how to color better and wanted to just do good, you know? 
And when I first started coloring, I watched a lot of Peta Hewitt on YouTube. I colored that in 2016, you guys. Can you believe it? I watched a lot of Chris Chang videos. Um, I wanted to learn how to blend, and their tutorials really helped me to master that. I like this one. And Joanna books have always just been there. They've always been very consistent. Oh, there's another one Jasper got. Very there for me when I need them, etc. I don't think I've fully completed a Joanna Basford book yet. I'm close with Ivy and the Inky Butterfly and Magical Jungle, but I don't even think I've completed those ones yet. So yeah, there's everything I've done in Lost Ocean. So I think I'm gonna finish this book someday. We say someday, it's been like 10 years, but we'll see. I would like to, that's one of my goals. Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I loved this book when it came out. It is so beautiful. I love the story. Um, as you can see, it's very well loved and tattered. And I always use pencil in these books. I've never been very good with using gel pens um, or markers in these books. I just like how pencils feel more. I like this page. I like this one too. And as you can see here, my book is starting to fall apart, so that kind of makes me sad. But every once in a while, I'll pull this book out and work in it. I like this page, too. I love her flowers. I love her... Artwork. I can see my coloring really starting to improve in these pages. I think I did that one on camera. I like that page too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this page. I like this page too. I believe I did this one on film as well. Mm, that one's pretty. It doesn't matter how you color them. They always turn out beautiful. I just prefer to use pencils in these books. I don't know why. And I've kind of been feeling like pulling these books out again and coloring in them. There's been so many new books coming out that I've been feeling to pull out my old books, you know. I like that page. That's a good page. That page. 
So I would say I'm a little over halfway done with this book. that page in purples and blues. And I did that butterfly. And then the end. So yeah, there's everything I've colored in that book. Next we have World of Flowers. Love this book too. I've done that page. I loved coloring in this book, as you will see. I know I've colored pages in here. What? Have I not colored any pages in this one? Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I haven't. So there's that one, or is it the other one? Might be the other one. I need to color in this one a lot more, though. This one is Magical Jungle, and it is almost done. For me, um, I do color the covers, and I got some questions of people asking me like why I color the covers. It's just because I seen, I saw some other YouTubers coloring them, and I liked that. So, Oh my goodness, I have not colored anything in this book either. What am I thinking? So anyway, there's that one. Let's see in Rooms of Wonders. I do love this book too. It's just a little bit more detailed than I'm used to. This was a buddy color with Barbara Barnes. This was filmed on camera. I think this one was too. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This was a buddy color with Nikki Jane. I did use markers and gel pens on this page and I didn't like it. So um, I learned my lesson with that. This is a whip that I want to finish, speaking of. And then there's these two pages. Oh my gosh, look at all the detail. Is that all I've done in this one? Yes. So that's all I've done in that one. Next we have Worlds of Wonder. Here's my cover. That page. So if you're new to coloring, I would highly, highly recommend getting Joanna Basford books. They are inexpensive. They're fun. 
and the paper quality is really good. My pink elephant, I liked this one, that was cute. It is a tired kind of day here. It's snowing and I'm over the snow. I want spring, I want 60s and sunny days. I like this page. And then there's this page. Oh yeah, this was a buddy color. I want to color this lemon page too. I've seen this one done so pretty. That one's done. This one's done. This was done recently, I think a couple weeks ago. My black cat, my lovely. I think she's pretty. My mushrooms, that was done on a stream. And yeah, that's all I've done in this one. And last but certainly not least is Joanna's Christmas. It's my cover. I did that page. That one. 2017 that one so this was very new to coloring for me oh I like this page that looks fun I did do this one on camera that one it's so fun to go back and look at your coloring. That one I wanted to do in reds and greens. That one, I like these guys. My little nutcrackers. to color more in this book too. I did do that page. Working on this one it looks like with glitter gels. That one. birdies this one was a buddy color with Nikki and that one So yeah, 
that is everything I've colored in Joanna Basford books. I hope you guys like this video, something a little different. If you'd like to see what I've colored in Deborah Muller's books, I can get those together or Coco Wyo or some life drawing. Um, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.